Hi everybody, welcome to the studio doctor. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mix up front vocals. But before, we treasure your subscription. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and encourage us to do more videos. Let's get started. Before you do any processing, start by cleaning up your lead vocals by removing the unwanted noises out of it. By doing this, your vocals will sound more professional and less noise. Let's hear to the unclean device. And after, sounds more professional and clean. Make sure it's always the first thing you do before rushing with plugins or any other processing activity. Clip Gain I recommend using a clip gain to balance the dynamics of your lead vocals before using a compressor. Boost the quiet part to balance well with the rest. After you have to make sure your vocal is well tuned and is responding well to the key. Let's listen before. And after. Next is using a corrective EQ to remove unwanted frequencies out of the vocals. Let's listen to the vocals without an EQ. And with the EQ. As you can see, I have made several cuts, especially to frequencies that are sounding muddy, boomy, and roomish. Let's listen before and after. After EQ, it's now time to compress your vocals to make it consistent and to cut well through in the mix. Let's listen before the compressor. Add some clarity and presence to the vocals. In this case, I'm using voice centric from Waves. Let's 
Let's listen to the vocals before. And after. User the ESA to tame the siblings and the high frequencies that we've boosted in the vocals. Let's listen before and after the processing. Use a chorus to add characters and dimension to the vocal. Now, after, send your vocal to the delay and a reverb to give it space and also a sense. In this case, I've used two types of delays. I've used a Valhalla delay and a repeater from D16. One is a slap delay and another one is a ping pong. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like and leave a comment. Remember, your subscription is a blessing to us.